Digital screens have become an integral part of our daily lives, even more so in the lives of the modern youth. Everywhere we look, we are increasingly exposed to screens, whether on our smartphones, tablets, or computers. And soon enough, we're going to be having virtual and augmented reality, which means our screens will be right in front of our eyes. The potential effects of screen time, however, on children's brain or brain in general are becoming increasingly concerning. In fact, over the years, screen time usage has only been increasing, as noted in this current graph here. Throughout this video, you'll learn how too much screen time can affect your cognitive development, as well as drain your attention, something that we don't really have much of these days. But before we dive into it, better your brain by hitting that subscribe button so we can continue to feed you nuggets of information on brain and behavior. Cognitive development, or our ability to learn, understand, and solve problems, is crucial for navigating through life. Whether it's language development, attention span, memory, or executive function, how intact our cognitive development is can influence how we learn, remember, and make decisions. People who spend too much time on screens, however, especially as an adolescent, have a higher chance of living a sedentary lifestyle. By staying stuck on a screen, you limit the opportunities for social interaction and naturally have a decreased engagement in other activities. But besides being active, excessive screen time has also been linked to higher rates of depression and anxiety. People that are on their screens excessively also have been shown to have poor sleep and higher rates of obesity. And beyond that, there's also the issue of digital eye strain and worsened mental health. Research shows that heavy screen usage can lead to reduced attention span, difficulty concentrating, and difficulty switching between tasks. The plethora of apps and notifications that are bombarding us on a screen have made task switching a norm, and while we think we may be more productive sifting through a multitude of apps to get things done, the reality of research shows that multitasking is in fact bad for you, something we talked about in a previous video. Spending too much time on screens reduces our ability to practice sustained attention and cognitive control. Not only does prolonged screen time negatively affect memory, particularly working memory, but people who spend a lot of time on screens may find it harder to engage in cognitively demanding activities such as problem solving and decision making. In fact, research has also shown that children aged 5 or younger who spend more time on 2 hours on daily screen time are 8 times more likely to be diagnosed with ADHD. The main reason for this is that modern devices are rife of repeated stimulations and immediate gratification. When we are frequently exposed to constant stimulation at a rapid pace, the real world around us, which is far slower than what we can experience on a screen, can feel relatively boring, thus making it hard to focus. As Michael Manos, director of the ADHD Center for Evaluation and Treatment Center in Cleveland Clinic, states, screen time makes the regular world seem rather dull, like watching a plant grow. The main reason for this, we have two different underlying types of attention to do things, automatic and direct attention. The former is associated with the brain's default mode network, which we use to interact with something that is engaging. Often this is things like social media or video games. The latter, directed attention, however, is linked to our task positive network, which we use to concentrate on tasks like studying, reading, or meditating. And often, activities that require more effort and labor require directed attention. It just happens to be that these types of tasks seem less stimulating. However, they are much more fulfilling in the long run. In addition to cognitive development and attention, excessive screen time can also impact emotional development. Social interaction and emotional regulation are crucial skills that develop during early childhood and play a significant role in our overall mental well-being. Children benefit from social interaction by developing social skills such as communication, empathy, and perspective taking, which are essential for a healthy social and emotional development. Screen time, particularly on social media, impacts this. As we discussed in another video, social media can expose children to unrealistic standards, cyberbullying, and other negative influences, which can deeply impact self esteem, emotional regulation, and overall mental health. When we go to a screen to distract ourselves from frustrations and negative emotional arousal, especially at a young age, we take away the opportunity to learn how to respond to difficult emotions. What ends up happening is that our brain relies on the black screens as a quick fix to ignore emotions, instead of learning how to deal with them head on. 
It is also important to consider how screen time may impact sleep, as we all know that sleep plays a crucial role in brain development, particularly during childhood. Whether it's consolidating memories or supporting cognitive processes, sleep is important to remain healthy both physically and mentally. Screens these days, however, tend to emit blue light, and this light itself disrupts sleep patterns. Blue light emitted by screens can interfere with the production of melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep. Exposure to screens, especially before bedtime, can suppress melatonin production, making it harder for children or people in general to fall asleep and stay asleep. As we all know, whenever we don't get proper sleep, poor quality and insufficient sleep can have detrimental effects on our overall day. This can lead to impaired attention, memory, and overall cognitive performance going way down. Research has also shown that people who spend more time on screens, particularly before bedtime, are more likely to experience sleep disturbances such as difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, and experiencing daytime sleepiness. Doom scrolling or the act of surfing through the web or newsfeed and reading through negative news can delay REM sleep, keeping us up for hours beyond bedtime. While using your phone in general before bedtime is bad, it is important to note, however, that passive use such as listening to music or a podcast may not affect us as much. It's primarily active use such as texting or social media scrolling that hinders us. So if screen time is so bad for us, what can we do to be better? Avoiding screen time entirely is impossible in this day and age. Technology is an integral part of our lives, but what we can do is try to Set screen time limits. Establish clear rules and limits on the amount of screen time you or your loved one can have. This is particularly important if you have a child or know someone who does. Make sure to consider their age, their developmental stage, and individual needs, of course. According to the National Institute of Health, experts recommend that screen time should be limited to two hours or less per day. Secondly, we can try to prioritize other activities. Try to include more activities within your day that require you to be off screen, from physical activities to reading or creative play. Ensure that screen time does not replace these essential activities that help to practice directed attention. And finally, we can try to create screen-free zones. Similar to the idea of environmental design for productivity, make sure to establish specific zones or areas in your house where you can and cannot use your phone. Whether it's at the dinner table or in your master bedroom, make sure that you do not allow your phone to be anywhere near you during these moments or times. Excessive screen times can be quite detrimental in many ways, from hindering emotional and cognitive development to impacting the quality of sleep, life, and well-being. As adults, we need to be more mindful of how we are spending time on our screens, not only for ourselves, but perhaps for our children as well. Again, while it is impossible to escape the screen in this modern digital age, what we can aim to do is adopt healthier habits on how we use the devices that are part of our daily lives. If you like this video, make sure to watch the video on the left where we talk about how we're actually spending our time day to day. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can continue to help you mine the gold in mind.